Maraming salamat po, Ma'am Kim. Thank you also for coming over to this seminar. And I hope as we end this afternoon, meron po akong may, may idadag sa inyong kaalaman. So, welcome po sa seminar, sa ICE seminar. So, uh, I was the recipient of the Circa Travel Grant last November. There was uh, an ASEAN meeting on mycorrhiza. So, ginanap po ito sa Bogor, Indonesia, and this was uh, my presentation, a country report. So, first thing, ito po ang aking uh, flow ng aking presentation. Define first what is mycorrhiza, ano ang mga technologies about it, and how did we utilize it. So, basically, when we speak of mycorrhiza, it means two words. Mites meaning fungi and lisa for roots. Uh, this is a highly interdependent or mutualistic relationship. Meaning to say, nakikinabang ang bawat isa, ang ugat at ang ama. So the benefits are the fungi gets their carbohydrates, get their food from from the roots. And they get the host plant where they can establish their complete life cycle. On the other hand, in roots naman, they get they are able to get more water and nutrients. And these these roots uh, they have the additional extenders or root hyphae. They can go deeper and further into the soil to get more nutrients and water. So, ang caricature niya is just like this two person where each one is feeding the other. So, another thing about mycorrhiza, it is found everywhere. So, sa potted plants, sa lupa, sa labas, there are mycorrhiza fungi. And it is a normal status. Ang abnormal ay ang walang mycorrhiza. But we don't understand, we don't see it unless the conditions are stressed. Just like pangit ng lupa, or my drought, or my toxic heavy metals, or very acidic soil. These are the conditions wherein ang may mycorrhiza halaman ay mas maganda ang tubo or effect kumpara dun sa wala. Okay. Marami pong benefits why we need mycorrhiza. Essentially, there are more nutrients taken up. Kasi meron tayong root extenders. May increase resistance to drought. May protection sa plant pathogens. Kasi kung may mycorrhiza, nauuna yung fungi, kainin yung excess nutrients doon sa roots. Meaning to say, wala nang extra food para sa mga pathogens or disease-causing microbes. May harang, may nagsasabi, nauna ako dito, ikaw na nagkakos ng disease cannot enter anymore. Parang ganun yung sinasabi. And ang mga fungi na mycorrhiza, they know kung sino yung beneficial kasi they associate with it. And ang added pa, they secret growth hormones. Growth hormones, pampabilis ng pag-germinate, pampahaba ng ugat, pampanangkad, pampabilis mag-flower and mag-fruit. So all these things will make your plant better looking and will have better yield. At ang plus, and they give good effect on the soil. Kasi ang mga fungi nila, parang tao, meron siyang saliva or mucus which binds soil particles together. Meaning to say, it creates a structure wherein air flow can penetrate. At ang mangyayari sa soil, magiging buhaghag. Meaning to say, maganda ang air flow, maganda ang water flow. So, the soil becomes friable because of the secretions of the fungi. Essentially, I want to uh, live with you the, uh, the types of mycorrhiza. There are, I think, eight types. But for this afternoon, this is 
Pag-usapan na lang natin ang discussion into two different types. One, we call VAM or vesicular or muscular mycorrhiza due to the presence of the vesicles and the arbuscles. Ganito po ang itsura na ng fungi na to. So they are like balloons. They have the spore wall and this, they have a high fade. Ito po. So they are very microscopic. This was taken under the microscope. Sa butas ng karayong, this size, I can fit in 50 to 100 spores. Ganon sila kaliit. And they vary in color and they vary in structure. Ito po, ito a sign na meron mag germinate Ito, hindi mo yan nakikita sa iba. So, this fungi are found in all vascular plants. So, andyan yung ating ating crops, fruit trees, and forest trees. Ito yung mycorrhiza na nandyan sa mga yan. They belong, this fungi belong to the lower fungi. And, yun nga, ang kayas na tinawag na VAM, or pwede rin AM, may sad kasi wala rin, hindi nakikita yung vesicles because ito yung storage organ or nutrient exchange structure. What's very common or very unique about this, hindi sila nakukulture sa agar. They need a host plant. Kaya the way to mass produce this mycorrhiza, this VAM, Itanim mo siya, inigay mo lang siya sa halaman. At doon siya magkakaroon ng continue na life cycle niya. Another term to recall the van is that they penetrate the cell. Umapasok sa loob. Hence, they are also called endomycorrhiza, meaning inside. So, uh, this is how they look. Ito pa, ibang itsura when they are in pure culture. So we look at them under the microscope, pinipili namin sila. This is Acolospora scribiculata. This is Glomus caledonium. This is Glomus constrictum, Scutinospora endoprospora. So there are means kung bakit namin siya tinawag na ganon, bakit yung genius niya na ganon. So ito yung trabaho ng mga microrhizologists. But basically, ayun sila. Under the microscope, ganito ang itsura. The spore lives beside the root. At yung high pain niya, pupunta dito sa roots. So if we can see better, we put a stain or a dye. We call chiffon glue para makita natin yung fine particles. And then under the microscope, makikita natin yung fungal high pa pumasok sa roots. Inside the root or attack view portion, makakita tayo ng vesicles at arbuscles. So this is yung top view. And this is how they look like in more close-up. So ito ang vesicles, bilog-bilog. Ang laman lang yan ay fat globules. Parang tiyan lang yan ang tao, taba. Taba or fatty tissues which the fungi uses. And then, Ito ang close-up ng arbuscules from Brown Death 1996. Maliliit lang sila and they have a lifespan of at least two weeks just to dry up. But then, more numerous structures develop. So, very temporary lang. Dito sa fine na to, parang bush things, dito nagkakaroon ng transfer ng nutrients between. Remember, these are inside the root which is part of the plant. So whatever itong high pain na to na nakuha from the outside, they transfer to the plant. So, ganyan. So, from that, and the penetrate, and then, they complete their life cycle hanggang sa makaproduce tulit ng bagong spore. This one is like the original. So that is how they reproduce. But then, what happens, the plant is benefited kasi itong hypho na to na nandoon sa labas, all of them function as additional roots for greater nutrient and water absorption and as, as control for pathogens. So, ano ba nga i-expect mo? Mas maganda ang tubo. On the other hand, yung second type naman yung mycorrhiza, we will call it ectomycorrhiza. 
Eliza, echo from the root word outside. Ang mga fungi na kasama dito ay mushroom type and pop balls. Ito yung mushroom. Mga kabuti natin. And they, their high fade forms a uh, close relationship dun sa ubat nitong halaman na to. I think this is eucalyptus de Gupta, a uh, forest tree. Ito, ang tawag dito, papos, in general. Pero ang pangalan ng bawat species, Rhizopogon, Bullet, um, Papos. Kasi, ito yung itsura ng mura pa or fresh pa. But then, when they mature, when they, this course mature, they pop. Sumasakop. And that's how they disseminate or spread out. So, this papos and mushrooms, ang mycorrhiza, ay they form association with pine trees, yung marami sa bagyo. The pteropharps, our hardwood species, casuarinas, ito yung mga aboho, and eucalyptus, ito yung mga ginagawa natin papel. So, species-wise, kukonti lang sila, but then they are planted in plantations, hektahektarya, so marami pa rin ito may parisa na nakukuha doon. They are called higher fungi, kasi macro, malaki, kitang-kita. And, Malalaman mo rin kasi, the roots are enlarged and covered with fungi. Kitang-kita mo, uh, puti or brown. Ang kagandahan dito sa ito, they are cultured, they are able to be cultured in other media. And nasa labas lang sila ng cell. They don't penetrate the cell. So, for example, this is a eucalyptus. The fungi, the high pavement, interlink with the roots of the plant, ganun din yung papos. At ang lugar, ganito ang nangyayari. There is the formation. You can see very fine hydrate. Lahat siya ang duli ng hydrate which should get water and nutrients. And she ang tawag dito sa mga puting yan. So, madali siyang mahanap. And these are usually in the tips, ito o, oh, sa dulo ng mga ugat. So, ganyan ang itsura ng ectomycorrhiza. Okay, para hindi na makalimutan, this is the summary. Ect endo and ecto. Hatiin natin, this is a cross-section of a root. Dito, ito yung mga endo, wherein it goes inside the cell and form the structures. The ecto, just outside, pinapalibutan lang niya yung roots. So, mga kabote siya. And it doesn't go inside. It's just a sheet covering the roots. So that is the summary between endo and ecto. Both are mycorrhiza. Okay? Naintindihan? Okay pa? Are you still with me? <laughs> Sorry, I'm on lecture. Okay, let's move on to the second part, the mycorrhizal technologies. Uh, mycorrhizal research started at biotech. Biotech was established way back 1970 due to the energy crisis. Uh, it was part of the Marcos Foundation. So if there's one thing na maganda na nagawa ni ating former president was to establish research institute. Kasama na po dito ang ITB, ang NCTC, at ang Biotech. So our mandate then was to produce technologies to solve the energy and food problems. So, scientists from UPLB, from different institutions, forestry, biosci, they joined together to use biotech, biotechnology to create products. And right now, we are almost 36 years old. Kaka University lang po ng biotech, we have developed many biofertilizers, or we also call them microbial inoculants. So, ito ang definition. Inoculants, which have live or latent, latent meaning natutulo, providing nutrients to crops. So this could be through nitrogen fixation, solubilizers ng phosphorus and potassium. Solubilizers because they are sometimes not available for uptake. Minsan nakabangin sa soil particles. Minsan hindi siya magamit or kailangan siya i-degrade muna yung cellulose. Others, stimulants, to stimulate is to give small quantities of these growth hormones. 
or pesticide through provision of a substance that will control the growth of other non-favorable microbes like antibiotics, etc. So through the years, marami na pong technologies na develop ang biotech. Among them are some mycorrhizal products. Okay. So why are we doing this? Why are we working with microbes and microbial diversity? Because there is a need to produce more food. Everybody knows tumataas ang population ng Pilipinas. Pati mga bakla, hindi na mas din nangangana, but they still increase in number. So, it's a perennial problem to supply more food. And also, we would like to supplement or substitute the chemical fertilizers because we know these are expensive and frequent application and very high amount can degrade the soil, making it acidic or too, up, too much application, siltation of rivers, and uh, they degrade the ecosystem. Essentially, microbial fertilizers or biofertilizers will improve the soil by bringing, up, bringing back the soil biodiversity, which was killed through application of chemicals, fertilizers, and pesticides at the same time. So, counting back track lang po, for crop production, we need 16 nutrients and the sun, the, the air, and the water Itong NPK are always applied as chemical fertilizer NPK complete. But we also need macro elements and the micronutrients. So, para po maging kompleto at namunga, we need only 16. But if one of them is limiting, hindi po mag-increase ang yield or hindi mamunga. But with the advantage provided by mycorrhiza, we can provide whatever is the limiting nutrient. Kasi mas mabilis yung kanyang paghana sa soil. Counting backtrack, mycorrhiza research started in the Philippines. Isolation, identification, mass production, and inoculation trials. So this was taken way back 1988. Bata pa lang po ako nun, but I started out with Dr. De La Cruz. Now this is Dr. De La Cruz we call the father of mycorrhiza. And today, these are the mycorrhizal technologies. So for endomycorrhiza, we have mycobam, BAM root inoculant, brown magic for orchids, high bam developed by DENR, and mycoplast, which was from our group. For the ectomycorrhiza, we have microgrow, tablets, and the vegetative mycelia. I will discuss them further as we complete other use. So for the third part of my talk, utilization of these products. Um, when I joined the group of Dr. Delacruz, they already have these tablets. Actually, these are made up of spores of the tackles mixed with a little bit of soil and then passed through a tableting machine. And then one tablet is inoculated during the nursery, and this is what they got. Faster growth, taller seedlings. This is pines, this is eucalyptus, and these are akashwarana or agoho. So they did a lot of inoculation trials. Sorry for the very old picture. But I will documentation that this is what I got. Look at the denuded area. And people, this is from Anzac Tarla. And they were trying to replant the pines, which was burned. But ang nangyayari, people are getting soil from Baguio, transporting them so that they will establish. But with the presence of the microgrow tablet, maganda yung establishment na mga cities. Until the next time na masunog ulit siya, which I don't know, it's a frequent occurrence na mountains are being burned. They also did reforestation trials in uh, Surigao. This was um, the, this is Dr. Nelson Pampolino, right now at the College of Forestry. Bata pa ng kamino, and this is the control. We were doing inoculation and fertilizer trials. And look at, small amount, 25 grams per seedling. Look at the big push in uh, the growth. 
and this they are at 50 grams per plant. Meaning to say, the microbial inoculant, the mycorrhiza there, is able to make use of the nutrient supply per seeding, leading to the good growth of the plant. On the other hand, it's the endomycorrhiza, and my, this is, was part of my master's thesis. We were evaluating different species of endomycorrhiza. This is Lomus epilitatum, Lomus macrocarpum, and G. margarita. 60, 60, 60 kilograms NPK per hectare for a two month eggplant loop. This will surely bear fruit, but with chemical fertilizer alone, it's like nothing was added, controlled. This was grown in a phosphorus deficient soil. We were trying to do agroforestry in the forest land, so we tried six different agri crops, six fruit trees, and six forest trees. Consistently, then not put you in the soil. Any of the three will give good growth to the plants. Hence, ang nangyari po, these three were the initial isolates used, which formed the inoculant microbiome. So how was microbiome applied? Five to ten grams lang, and no unang panahon, puso pa yung tansan. So one tansan per seedling, and that's it, for the whole lifetime na nang plant because the earlier it forms the association as long as the plant leaves the fungi will multiply and um, it will grow but you have to supplement the nutrients para pareha silang mabuhay so through the years there were many inoculation trials done this is on maram this is on lampa and this is on hainichu so consistently melon pole growth increase height increase and this is for banana and for against pest, this is um Quiposarium of this forum. Yung control hindi na po na buhay. Yung samantala niyo meron, one species only. Okay siya. And in the presence of nematodes, the nematodes block the root and form these nodules. Hence, hindi na po normal yung development and roots. But, in the presence of a beneficial micro, mycorrhiza in microbiome, parang normal na. But actually, may nodes pa rin siya. Meaning to say, there is a, a way na nakakontrol nila yung mass production ng nematode in, at nag, nananalo yung beneficial. So, we were able to use microbiome and other Soil amendments in bioremediation. This was done in Mokpog, Marine Luque, during the height of the Jatropa. So look at the control or chemical fertilizer alone. Ito naman yung combination. But then in this type of soil, napakatigas and no cover, uh, it's very hard for the, the Jatropa to continue and produce the fruits. Other groups were also doing inoculation trials on corn. This was the group of Dr. Marlene Brown and they were using Bambri. So they are using it for corn and the legumes. Trying to teach that there's, um, there should be turnover from corn to legumes para ma-replenish ng mga nutrients. They were also working on brown magic which is for orchids. And maganda yung response niya sa tissue culture. And then our group, we started collaborating with another type of uh, organism called PGPR, the Plant Growth Promoter. Uh, the group of uh, Montemayor, Dr. Montemayor, collaborated with us to help rehab the coconut plantation. So we did it in 13 sites all over the country. We used the multipurpose cooperatives who were the recipient of these coconut seedlings. And so, this was in Mohol, but then the establishment niya and the mycorrhizal association also helped the banana interplanted. This two-year-old coconut was in Quezon, uh, SLSU. So this is the control. This person is the same, and look how tall the other one. At three years, like, na siya. Um, on the other 
other side, for the Senate Presentation with the NGE or the National Green Program of President Aquino, they used microbank for a while in the initial stage, but then DNR was able to establish or produce the high Q bomb, uh, and they were able to produce four nursery plantations, nursery production area all over the country for the production of mycorrhiza. So this was used in reforestation. From 2012 onwards, our group started working with interactions. So one particular student, and Nico Sedicol, and the, the, the son of Ma'am Eddie Sedicol from Circa, we were trying to look into paddy rice or lowland rice. So nursery before we planted, there was a clear positive growth of mycorrhiza plus no stop. So, but then when we planted it on and sterilized soil, then ito yung growth niya. This is rice should dry weed. Maliliit lang yung plants. But then when we sterilize the soil, na proliferate yung beneficial microbes. But the best was in combination. The three colors stand for the different fertilizer rate. So there is a very positive growth with nonstop and mycorrhiza. We were also looking at the effect on plant growth promoter, which is my bio on acid soil. So, hindi pa rin na increase yung growth. Look at the roots. They, they, they look more compared to the control, but this tangy, hindi pa rin siya ganun kalenda. But then, there is a positive interaction with, with both organisms. Come 2013, we were able to start Mycoplast. So we call our technology providing solution to problems of low, low yield and income. We combine mycorrhiza plus other microbes. So we screen who these microbes are and try to combine. Maramiyan, like away, maramiyan, natatalo yung plants. But then after some time, we were able to make a good formulation because they serve as compatible. They serve to provide what the needs of the other is. So through a small packet of 300 grams, maganda ang germination, uptake of nutrients, and eat yield. By simply coating the seeds, look at this, white corn coated or, or uh, treated with fungicide, we were getting similar growth even though we reduce by 30% the chemical fertilizer. By mixing it in the germination bed, maganda ang germination. This is with mycoplast and this is with control. So somehow the end are rich on germination. And when we don't have any roots yet, the key points, the tubers, can be used by simply coating it with the mycoplast. So, majority of our trials were in corn because we would like to replace the high chemical fertilizer usage. This was done in Bay Laguna in the farm of Dr. Sammy Del Macho. And then, again, the bell pepper and the L1 germination. This was on lettuce, so we get better germination and growth. And then on cassava, we did it in two barangays in Sariaya, Laguna, in Barangay Mamala and Barangay Lutukan. On both cases, mas maganda ang may addition ng mycoplast doon sa practice ng farmer. And the third time we did it sa club again. We also tried several chemical um, levels and it was proving that Itong level na to, the 80% and 70% was okay already. These are lettuce plants at 8 plants per tree. The secret actually for, for later yield in long duration crops, why we get a 27 increase, was due to a longer ability of the plant to flower and to fruit. This we found out in eggplant. The control, wala na, stop, stop na siya. Whereas those with mycoplast, maganda pa ang kanyang growth. So they can still provide yield. There were so many other trials that we did 
we had good flowering in mango, enhanced yield in rice, good flowering and fruiting in papaya, coffee, and some pagita, and we had good resistance to drop in sorghum. So we are really waiting for collaboration with other people and other crops. One thing we noticed was microplast was also providing good results in the soil. It decreased the soil acidity. Look at before planting, after expected na magiging acidic, umababa. But then if you had microplast, the pH of the soil was uh, higher, less acidic. And we look at the soil nitrogen after the cropping season, even though tapos na, mataas siya compared sa control, or this one lesser pa yung nilagal. Why? There are microbes providing additional nitrogen which will be used by the next crop. Our other activities, we continue to provide IEC materials, other trials, seminars, and this is what we observe with all our trials. Better, better results. Color high, yield. Current trends, we look for collaborations because we would like to optimize the use of microplastics. Ilan ba talaga? Gaano ba kalimit? And we would like to encourage participation of the government and industry. Um, Para naman more on reforestation in agriculture. Then we're looking into microbial community analysis. What is really happening? And then we need to have a pattern. Uh, what's happening? Who are involved? So these things. And we recommend collaboration and we wish to have more students working with us so that we could uh, find the answer, educate more farmers, so that these technologies can, can reach them and to be made use of. Uh, on my final slide, I would like to acknowledge the Siyama Biodraw for the travel grant and Circa also. Biotech, DOS, Picard, and Fishery, students, staff, and my family. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you, Thank you very much, Dr. Zayde, for introducing us to the world of mycorrhiza, <laughs> especially for us who are not really familiar with it, and also for giving us this opportunity to know more about the benefits that farmers can get from uh, using uh, mycoplasts and mycomum. And so let's now move on to the open forum. Um, the floor is now open for your questions, comments, or insights. Please use the microphone along the aisle and uh, kindly introduce yourself. No questions? Are there any questions? Yes, sir. Hello po. Ako po si Marlon Bajo, student po. Uh, gusto ko lang po matanong kung may mga mycorrhizal species po ba na nagiging opportunistic, na nagiging parasite po? That's a very good question. Meron pong iba't ibang species ng mycorrhiza. Para rin siyang tao, hindi lahat magaling. May mga tamad din, or merong tinatawag natin na kasakay lang. So we call this uh, nuisance species. One particular species that I know is Lomus okoto, which is very wide, very abundant. Nandun lang siya, but it's not helping out. So, meron din ibang species na ang manner ng formation niya, papilo, tapos yung hyphae niya, kasi diba para siyang babon, yung hyphae niya nasa gitna, and they form a cluster. So, it's a big ball, the spores head are in a cluster, parang citrus, parang juice, nasa loob yung hyphae. So, how can it explore outside when the hyphae is inside? So, yes, totoo. There are different species of mycorrhiza and we are having doing the screening to find out which of them is the best one. The big ones, the small ones, who will produce, reproduce fast, who can 
stay okay even though dry or matagal lang siya fry. Yes.
may pumaplus uh, este, African Night Program of Earth War was used. And uh, the, the result was, instead of waiting for 20 years to sell the trees, the eucalyptus for, uh, for uh, electric force, it was only 14 years. And they bought, uh, instead of uh, the, the, area, the usual price was 100,000 pesos per hectare for trees. But when they bought our uh, trees, uh, it was 250,000 per hectare. So we had uh, 3.4 hectares plus 8 hectares, is 2 hectares, at 250,000. Well, I became a colleague of Senator to be Mani Pacquiao. <laughs> so those of you who will be graduating and going to the field, buy three parts there in the mountain and use now the technologies of uh, Dr. Sarabi and Biotech <laughs> so that you will also become millionaires like us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Sir. Thank you. 